week we're talking about action photography and in this part of the module um, we're talking about band photography. I thought I'd tell you a bit about how I approach band photography. Um, my husband is a musician and he is in a local cover band, a Foo Fighters cover band called Dave's Not Here. So I'm always photographing them at gigs. So some of the stuff that I have found um, is what I'm going to be covering in this video. So my process. I research the venue and the band. Um, like I said, they're local, so I've been to a lot of the venues. But it's always nice to know what the venue is going to be like first. So going to a show uh, beforehand and checking out what the lighting's like um, and different places that you can get different points of view from. You can also uh, go see the band at other places or watch their videos to get an idea of what you're in for when you're shooting them. I like to get there early to talk to the band, the sound people, lighting people, and a lot of times if you let them know ahead of time that you're going to be shooting, you can ask to see where is a good place to for you to stand um, to get different points of view, and sometimes they'll even let you go places that other audience members aren't allowed to go. Okay, I don't usually start shooting right away. I like to get a feel of the band and get into it and fill the groove of the songs and then start shooting. Um, if there's only one set, I wait a few songs. If there's multiple sets, I might wait for the second or third set to start shooting. I start with high shutter speeds and I get close-ups and work my way around to wide shots. So that means that I get close to the band and um, I frame up close shots of each of the members uh, trying to get that emotion in the shot. <clears throat> Um, then I start working on pairs, so the singer and the drummer, the drummer and the bassist, the drummer and guitarist, and so forth. Then I move back further and get use a wider, even wider lens to get shots of the whole band. And then my last shots are usually towards the end of the show, you know, when the band and the audience are really excited and um, it's been building up all night, and that's when I usually get the shots of the band and the audience together. For these shots, I do try to use burst and I don't use a flash uh, to try to get that emotion and excitement and movement and then I go through the photos later and find which one worked out the best. And then once I have the shots covered that I need to get above, I start to play and experiment. So I make sure I have the full shots I need and then I start to play around with flashes, um, slow shutter speeds, different colored flash gels. And instead of using burst during this time, I try to find my position and find my composition and then anticipate the moment so that I'm not, you know, using the flash in the band's face or anything. Um, all right, so I wanted to show you guys some photos. These are all shots of my husband's band. Dave's not here. So let's take a look. All right, so this shot is one where I was using a slow shutter speed. So you could see that it worked out pretty nice. Uh, I ended up getting these multiple drumstick look happening. Uh, for this shot, I was also using a star filter. So the filter makes the, any type of um, lights turn into these starburst looking shots. This was really popular, I don't know, 60s, 70s, 80s. A lot of people don't like this filter, but I like to throw it in once in a while. Okay, here's another you know different point of view. This is at a local venue called Strummers. And I was able to, uh, well, I know the band, but I was able to talk to the staff uh, at the venue and see if I could jump on stage to their back door and get some different points of view. So I was able to get behind the drummer and get these shots. They really worked out nice, and you could see some of the reactions um, from the audience. Another nice point of view that was only possible by being on stage, trying to stack the different people as they're singing. All right, and this is an instance where I wanted to really get what was going on with the crowd and the band. So the band was lit up really nice with stage lights, but the crowd was completely dark. So I used my flash. Um, I have a flash that tilts. So I tilted my flash towards the audience and was able to um, balance out the light basically by using the flash. Uh, motion is always fun with bands and so if you have someone like my friend Rich here who has great long hair uh, he's always headbanging around and so it's always 
necessary to get a couple little shots of his hair going crazy. That's my hubby being silly. <laughs> um, this is the singer in their band, and again, trying to capture that emotion, trying to have um, you know balance out my shutter speed so I can catch the emotion, but at the same time, catch motion of him playing. Now, this one is something that was photoshopped together. I had um, multiple shots that were long exposures, so we were getting this really great movement, but I wanted to add an even uh, more of an element of movement. So I had these two shots, I stacked them on top of each other in Photoshop and um, basically added a mask. I know for you people who don't work in Photoshop, that doesn't make sense, but for those of you who might work in Photoshop, uh, I added a mask to mask out part of the photo and just show his arms basically. Okay, and there's just a shot with flash instead. And actually with this one, it was flash with a purple gel. So it wasn't just this really stark white light. I did want to try to match up some of the lighting um, that was going on. So purple, you know, works pretty well with uh, green and is close to blue. So I thought it'd be a good, good pick. All right, some more. Uh, this one's actually freezing the motion, not showing the motion. And this is a progression of shots of <laughs> Singer jumping up and down. So. And so you can see it can be kind of tough to pick what the best shot is. This one's really fun, smiling at the audience. This one has a look of surprise. And then this one is showing more motion as he's jumping off of the ground. Um, this is with a super wide angle lens. And again, getting back behind so I can get the whole band and some of the audience. Right from the front. Okay, this is another venue that has some pretty nice lighting, um, Apcal. It's in Madeira off of Avenue 7. During the summer, they always have shows. Really fun place. And for this shoot, I actually um, was hanging out in the back with the sound man for a while. And um, after we conversated a little bit, I let him know I was going to take photos of the band. When I started to go up there, he would notice and start giving me more lights and started turning on the fog machine. So that was kind of nice. So here, you know, we have some lights. But then, like I said, once he saw that I was, whenever I would start approaching the stage to take photos, he would help me out and add extra lights and fog. It's pretty sweet. Okay, so these are photos that are um, more on the experimental stage. Uh, I had already gotten my main shots, so I started playing with flash and really long exposures. Okay, this is without flash. But then here's with a long exposure and flash. So the flash picked up, um, you know, his face pretty clearly, but then the long exposure allowed for this movement to be happening with the guitar and with this kind of ghostly shadowy arm thing happening. All right, so some movement. And then again with the flash, so his arms that were moving faster um, become kind of like these ghostly things happening. Another long exposure with flash. And even another one, and this is using the, that technique where you're zooming in or zooming out during the long exposure. So you could see there's his face there, which is larger than where his face was there. And again, Crowd shots, always good to get the crowd shots. People having fun, dancing, rocking out. And this final shot with some movement. So I hope this was interesting for you and get out there and if you go out and watch music, take some photos. It could be really fun to play around with.